Alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man, D-Real, coming at you with another B-Real with D-Real, where entertainment is what I do. Okay. Mm. Pardon shots <laughs> at John Ridley. Let's get into it. But before we do, I need y'all to do what you always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to be real with D-Real page so that when the material comes out, you get it. If you digging what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the page. Now, way back in, I believe it was November of 2021, we got what is the John Ridley run on Black Panther. Now, I know what a lot of y'all are saying. Why are you doing this? Why are you even having this video? The man's leaving off the comic book. Why are y'all kicking him on the way out? Because I want it to be abundantly clear that I expressed my misgivings a long time ago. Before anybody said anything about the run being over. Okay. I even gave suggestions. John Ridley. I'm going to just come out and say it, bro. Uh, you probably, given your current run on it and what's going on, I mean, we haven't even seen the conclusion of the Long Shadow storyline. And that should tell you something right there, that mugs don't want to see the conclusion of the Long Shadow storyline and are kind of like, okay, just we done with whatever it is you're doing. Go back to Hollywood and do whatever it was you was doing and tell this guy to come back and start writing Black Panther. Yes, that is none other than Kevin Gravu. That's right. And I will, I will, I will, I will put a link for all of this video stuff that I'm going to uh put in this video. Kevin Gravu was my choice because I knew at the time Christopher Priest was unavailable. Um, Reginald Hudlin was working on another project, and then I know. I didn't want no time to Hesse Coates on Black Panther. I mean, other than Intergalactic Empire of Wakanda. You know what I'm saying? So nobody heard that. Nobody heard that. Nobody heard when I said this in early 2022. Um, I had to read about Mutant Resurrection in the Daily Bugle. Hmm. Storm's retort, for those of you that have been reading Black Panther, cold. Oh, did Gentle not keep you informed in his reports? It was never about state secrets, T'Challa. I didn't want the Galactus Protocols or the backdoor codes for Kimio, Kimoyo. I just wanted the man I still loved, loved, not to lie right to my face. Instead, you put a sleeper agent on a Rocco because you assumed I was too stupid to figure it out. I gave you your chance to come clean. You chose to keep playing your great game. And I won't live on your chessboard. This occurred in Black Panther number three. Thanks, John Ridley. Okay. Now, whether or not this will continue to be Storm's attitude in general and specifically Storm's attitude towards T'Challa, don't know. But Apparently, 
because John Ridley originated this behavior in Storm in Black Panther is bleeding in to the X-Men titles because John Ridley does not do writing chores on X-Men, okay? Al Ewing is the current writer on X-Men. Uh, I don't like the current dynamic. I don't like the friction between Aurora and T'Challa. Well, I won't say friction between them. I just say straight out disdain. As far as how this is going to bode for him and Aurora, I really hope Aurora gets past it and forgives him because the love between Aurora and Black Panther was a thing of beauty. And, and it needs to be seen again. It needs to be illustrated again. We need to have that in comics. We need to have that, if, if I'm being 100% honest. Um, look what you've done, John Ridley. Look what you've done, man. Because I saw it early. I saw it early. I saw he was, he was getting ready to drive a wedge between Aurora and T'Challa. I'm like, all right, I'm going to just read the comic. I'm going to just read the comic. I'm going to just read the comic and see how it turns out. And sure enough, this mother... This man did the unthinkable, the unspeakable. He had Aurora giving T'Challa the brush off. She's thriving in X-Men Red. She's thriving in X-Men Comics. And, and, and I love that for her. I want her to thrive. Storm is a top-tier character, too. She's a character that deserves way more shine than what she's getting. I mean, I can't really complain. She's <laughs> she's featured prominently in X-Men right now. Um, as far as how long that will last, I don't know. Because you know how they like to do us in comic books. You know what I'm saying? One second... Uh, you're John Stewart. The next second, you Black Lightning, <laughs> Luke Cage, somebody. You know what I'm saying? I also ran. Yeah, look here. It don't take rocket science, okay? And I'm gonna just go ahead and break it down and and, and tell the truth and shame the devil. It's like this. Period. Point blank. Um. Every project ain't going to be a home run. Every project ain't going to be a home run for an artist. Every project ain't going to be a home run for a writer. Every project ain't going to be a, 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 a home run for, for screenplays, for scripts, things of that nature. It ain't always going to be a home run. And just own it, dog. Your run on Black Panther is not a home run. Shit. Y your run on Black Panther ain't even a base hit. You know what I mean? I mean, from the first at bat, bro, you started kicking T'Challa in the nuts. You started demasculating it. So I don't, I, 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 emasculating? Emasculating. Um, and I don't know if you really realize, does, does John Ridley realize what he did to Black Panther? To be an Academy Award winning screenwriter, you got to understand what you was doing. You can't tell me you, you think all of that stuff that you wrote and put in there was osmosis. That, that was just naturally occurring stuff. Nah, bruh. You had to have a game plan, and your game plan was to shit on T'Challa, and you were successful? I don't know. Um, parting shots. Parting shots. These are my parting shots. You can call them lethal. You can call them non-lethal. You can call them what you want to call them, but there they are. Well, judging from that interior art, it looks like uh, John Ridley's run is going to end with the ultimate punking of T'Challa. 
And whoever takes over after John Ridley is going to have a tall order trying to put respect back on T'Challa's name. The Avengers are jumping him. They're kicking him out of the Avengers. He just he's losing his kingdom. I'm like, yo. Because I know Shuri's not gonna downgrade from, from Griot to being Black Panther again, just so everything lines up with, with movie lore. Or will they? Done up. But I do know. John Ridley's run, regardless of whether people like the Buffalo Soldier or not, characters like the Colonizer and the Buffalo Soldier, it, it doesn't seem like it was a stretch to, to create those characters. And, and I feel like they should have been a little more deeper than what they were. But hey, John Ridley's leaving. And 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 I, for one, as a Black Panther fan and a, and a reader of Black Panther comic books, say good effing riddance. If you're not going to heap some kind of respect on the character, if all you're doing, John Ridley, is dichotomizing and breaking down everything that T'Challa is or was, um, then yeah. You need to get the hell off the book. You need to kick rocks. I, I, my, 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 my only uh, issue is that you ain't leaving sooner than March. Now, as I understand it, Eve Ewing is taking over writing chores on Black Panther in June. And so we're getting a whole different Black Panther according to the interview she did with Black Comic Lords last weekend, uh, we're going to see a whole new Black Panther. And believe me, Ms. Ewing, we are way past ready to see something different going on with T'Challa, the Black Panther. I hope that you do him justice. I hope that 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 you keep T'Challa in the comic book and don't and even if you do replace him, that's cool. But keep T'Challa on the comic book. Would that be the perfect excuse to send him out to the intergalactic empire and, 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 and explore the star clusters and whatnot and survey his empire out there on that end? Yeah, let's do that. Meanwhile, you got somebody, maybe a Tosin or somebody. I don't know who y'all going to pick for the new Black Panther. If you do pick a new Black Panther, I would rather you not. But if you do... If you look at Jane Foster, if you look at Miles Morales, if you look at Wally West, if you know what I'm saying, eventually the mantle reverts back to the person that it originated at. For better or worse. I mean, name me a character that got replaced in comics other than Marvel, <laughs> who hasn't been back. So eventually, even if T'Challa is not the current Black Panther or if T'Challa is not the Black Panther in Eve Ewing's run, don't kill the character off. We can see adventures of T'Challa because T'Challa is what makes Wakanda worth looking at. Facts. Facts. Still facts. And... Here's one way for everybody to look at it. Everybody in Wakanda, everybody who have ever was or ever will be part of the Black Panther mythos, diaspora, whatever you want to call it, is a plot device for T'Challa. I'm going to let you marinate. I'll be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, yeah, y'all be good. Be good to each other.